All right, Noah. So uh, I believe you're the only one of the returning seniors who didn't announce it on social media. Well, why, why is that your style just to come in and, you know, be like, I'm here, let's get to work. Uh, I just, I don't have um, Twitter or Instagram or any of that. Um, just, yeah, like you said, not really my style to, to announce it. Um, I, you know, all, all my teammates knew, all the, uh, all the coaches knew, um, really for, for a while, it was, uh, it was something that I decided a while ago. Um, but yeah, I just didn't feel the need to, uh, to say anything to, you know, to the masses of people, because, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about the team and just coming in and, and doing my job and, and being, trying to be a great teammate. So. And what, what made it such an easy decision for you? Why did you decide so early on that this is what you wanted to do? Um, you know, when the, when the rule first came out, um, I, I was kind of thinking about it and it was just something that I was like, I'm, I'll, I'll decide at the end of the season, but just as the season went on, um, not only realizing how much better of a player I can be with a, with an extra year with our strength staff, um, and with our coaches and coach Riley specifically, but also just growing with, um, with our group. Uh, specifically in the O-line. We have such a young group, and uh, I'm, I just wasn't ready to be done playing with those guys. I wasn't uh, wasn't ready to be done with college yet. Um, it's just I'm, I wasn't ready to be a grown-up. And then uh, once Skyler got hurt and he let me know about his plans, it was pretty much a guarantee that I was I was going to run it back with Skyler. So uh, as soon as that happened, I was, I was all in. All right. Well, one more then. What, why is it uh... – such a big deal that Skyler's back. Uh, it, that's it's it's hard to put into words. Um, just the impact that guy has as a teammate. Um, not only does he bring so much talent, um, just that that dude has has so much experience. You know, he's played since he was a freshman. Uh, incredible leadership qualities and just a great person and a great friend and. Um, I knew how much it killed him not being out there this year. And I knew, I know how, how hard he's working to come back this year. And I, I just want to be a part of it because uh, that's my guy. And, and I know if, if it would have happened to me, he probably would have done the same thing. So it's just, that's my guy. All right. Thanks, Noah. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Derek. Derek. Noah, just how much better can this offensive line be? Because it, it was probably already the most improved position unit you know, on your guys' team from the first game till the final one. Yeah, we can uh, we can be a lot better. It it it's going to require action and it's going to require work. There's potential. Is everybody loves the word potential, and I I think we have an insane amount of potential on the O line with some of our some of our younger guys. But it's going to require action and work. And I think or I know that that our group is going to put that in this year and um, just going through it last year, you know, getting, getting that experience under our belt, because that was the biggest thing last year was that we were inexperienced or whatever, but now we've, we've all played a bunch of snaps and we, we know what we need to work on. We know how to work and we got to just start doing it every day at a high level, every single day in practice. Doesn't matter if it's, if it's, you know, the, the 15th day of fall camp or the eighth week of the season on a Tuesday and inside run period, we got to, we got to play at a championship level at all times and prepare at a championship level. And uh, I think we're going to, and I'm just excited for it. Speaking of that potential, even if it's guys that have already played quite a bit, who are some of those younger players that you think can really be the difference from you guys being good and being great? I, I mean, I think everyone who started last year, who played last year from, from KT, Josh, Ben, uh, Duff, Cooper. At the end of the season, you saw Taylor Portier come in, and that dude's got got all the talent in the world, and he's a super hard worker. And uh, I know he's gonna he's gonna work his butt off to be able to be a guy who plays, you know, a considerable amount of snaps next year. And I think he's can really help the team. Um, Carver Willis has had a really good off season so far. Played a little bit last year, and uh, 
So he's got he's got the potential to help us a lot. Um, there's some younger guys who who got to keep working and and got to uh, got to keep you know improving on stuff. But there's there's roles everywhere on our team for them to get in and help our team. Um, Hayden Gillum I think can have an impact for us next year. I know he can. Uh, Logan Long is a guy who may have not played a lot last year that. Yeah, if he puts the work in and he puts the uh, puts the time in, he's got the talent to play, and I have no doubt that he can. He'll put that work and time in, and then, like I said, all those other guys, including myself, it's about us putting it into action, um, doing it every day, and um, you know, working at a different level, working at working for a championship level, working at a championship level, and just continuing to improve. You know, last year toward the end of the season, we heard Coach Kleiman talking about some accountability issues just within the program. How much of a focus has that been for you guys throughout the offseason so far? And, and how far do you feel like you guys have come in that regard? Uh, it's it's a big focus. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a huge focus just because that is taking care of the little things is how you're successful on Saturdays. And it's taking care of the little things um, for, you know, 95% of your time when you only got you know, 5% of your year is playing football on Saturdays. So um, the issue is, it's not so much an issue now because it's, it's, there's such an emphasis on it now. And I think last year's results, obviously going four and six, that's not good enough. And um, I think that was a wake up call to a lot of people, including myself, that we got to change stuff. We got to change how we think about things. We got to change the way we work, the way we attack workouts, the way we go into meetings, the way we prepare, the way we recover, the way we eat. Um, and I think that is gonna be a strength for us this year. It was it was an issue, but it wasn't a team-wide issue. It was, you know, some little stuff here and there with specific people, including myself. It, it, was, it was everyone top to bottom, but uh, it's something that we're gonna improve on. It's gonna be a strength of our team moving forward is accountability for for yourself and accountability for the guy next to you and caring about the guy next to you and doing uh, being willing to do everything you can to put our team in a position to be successful. You feel like some of that was made worse just by the pandemic and some of the circumstances you guys had to deal with last year. I'm not going to use uh, COVID as a, as a, as a excuse for anything uh, that, that the pandemic has affected a ton of things negatively, but um, at the end of the day in college football, it's about overcoming adversity. And the amount of adversity we faced with COVID was a lot less than a lot of people out there in the world. So um, yeah, I, I don't think that is a is a reason for our issues at all. I appreciate it, Noah, thanks man. Thank you. Ryan. Ryan. Hey Noah, I, uh, I know might sound like a little bit of an odd question, but how, how long, when you guys get back to spring practice, will, will it take for you to kind of get used to snapping the ball to Skylar again? Because obviously you were snapping to, to Will a good bit after Skylar went out, and obviously each quarterback kind of likes the ball in a different place. And that, that is it something that day one will be good to go, or do you, I mean, will it take maybe a week or, or a little bit more time? Uh, well, we, we've already started um, oh. getting some snaps together and getting, getting that feeling back. And uh, the first time we did it, it felt, it felt like um, the Texas Tech game the last time he played. So it's it's something that I'm not worried about. It's something that no matter what quarterback's in there, I'm going to put the ball in the in the spot that they want it, and so they don't have to worry about it. No, how, how much did last season do? Not that maybe you didn't already have confidence in yourself, but to go from a guy who you appeared in three games in 2019 with that veteran offensive line in front of you, and then you started every game last year. Yeah. Um, I always, I always thought, and I always believed in myself, and I always had goals for myself um, to play, you know, to be a starter on this team. So, but you, you don't know anything for sure until you go out there and prove it. And uh, if anything, it, it last year taught me that you got to be at your best every day, um, and how you prepare every single day has a direct impact on how you how you play on Saturdays. And so moving into next year, it's just, I want to play at my best every single game because I don't think, um, I still think I have so much room to improve and 
that is going to require me putting in the work and just learning from uh, Coach Riley even more, learning from the other linemen, learning with them, and uh, having the strength coaches get me stronger, get me bigger, get me faster. Um, but it's just something that next year I'm just I'm ready to go. You know, there's no more. There's no more excuses for being a first year starter. There's no more excuses for being inexperienced. It's uh, a higher standard now that uh, I will be held to just naturally. And that I'll hold myself to, and I'm going to work and, and play at that level. Well, and no, I know I might know the answer to this given like kind of what you've already said about, you know, I don't have social media and I just show up and I want to go to work, but did, did it mean something to you to be I mean, named all big 12 by the league coaches? I mean, cause I mean, they, that means that, the other nine coaches that you guys went against in the Big 12 thought that, man, this is one of the best offensive line we saw all year. And on top of that, you got votes for best big uh, best offensive lineman in the Big 12 last year. Did that mean anything to you at all? Uh, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't – that didn't mean a lot. That uh, that obviously – it felt really good. Um, it is – it felt – you know, it was a lot of uh, – a lot of just – just being blessed to be in that position, being blessed to have the opportunity. Um, but at the same time, I was second team and I was honorable mention offensive lineman of the year. So at the same time, as much as it was cool, it also kind of ticked me off a little bit and and put a bit of a chip on the shoulder. But uh, at the end of the day, individual awards are directly tied to our team success. And so it's all about our team, our team, our team, and uh, the individual stuff will take care of itself.